So here in this video, we're going to show how to, we, I am going to show you how to stamp and paint using the new Modern Atomic um, collection of stamps that I designed. They are made to be layered one on top of the other, and you can do this with ink, of course, or paint. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do it, you know, the regular way with just a stamping block and an ink pad. Um, the problem I have is I'm, I'm an imperfect stamper, so then if I don't use a stamping platform, which this is, then I can never line things up exactly. And these are red rubber stamps, so they're difficult to line up. So I am going to use the Tonic Studios stamping platform, and we are going to put a piece of paper in there with the magnets like you're supposed to. And I'm going to pick a couple of stamps out that I want to use. I love the moon design. You start with a solid colored shape. I'm going to lay it down, face down on the paper, and then close the lid so the lid picks it up. Then I'm going to ink the stamp, and I'm using, I think, a blue color box stamp pad. A light blue color. I think my daughter got it for me for Christmas a couple years back. I don't remember. And of course I drop it and get ink everywhere, but you know. So just ink it up really well and then close the lid. That's all there is to it. Now the nice thing about the stamping platform is if you don't get um, good coverage on the first pass, which I got an okay coverage, you can take the ink pad and stamp the ink again. I mean, stamp, ink the stamp again, holy cow, and just close the lid again, and it's gonna go in the exact same place, and you're gonna get even better coverage than you did the first time, which is what happened here. And that's much better, perfect, I love it. So then I'm going to take the doodly shaped moons, and I'm going to line them up on top of the solid color shapes. It doesn't have to be exact, they're meant to be offset just a little bit. Again, close the lid and then go over it with a darker color. You can see here that there was some black ink left on the stamp. Um, I actually decide not to use the archival pad. I actually think it needs re-inking. I'm gonna use um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Black Soot. And we're gonna get the ink nice, nice and, uh, the stamp nice and juicy with ink. And again, if you don't get full coverage the first time, just don't take the stamp off and just ink it again and close the lid again. That is the beauty of a stamping platform, which I wish I would have invented because it's a great invention. And there you have it. And it's a quick, easy way to make um, stamped embellishments for journal, art journals, card making, tags, or anything. Uh, I love that. Of course, the modern atomic stamps can be used directly in your journals. The, sh the solid shapes are great for adding texture and interest to your backgrounds, as are the doodle shapes. Thicker paint. Um, this is dry on here, which is fine um, because what I was using was too, I think, watery. wasn't opaque enough and a little bit thin. This is Dina Wakeley's Media Paint. I'm going to start with a light blue. You can use um, craft foam. You can use um, an acrylic sheet. You can use a lot of stuff to do this. And I do this often with my stamps um, when I want something especially uh, that I want to put in my journals. I want to really do something mixed media with. I either use the jelly plate or foam or whatever as sort of something to... Sorry, the camera got shaky there. And the paw, the little feet print, feet sounds. Yeah, my daughter's dog Lily is here. Anyway, she knocked into the tripod. Sorry. Um, I either use a jelly plate as something to ink my brayer and do as you see me doing, or I stick the stamp pad directly on the jelly plate and get paint off of, onto it this way. Also, so whatever way works better for you. Sometimes, depending on the color and the kind of paint, um, having some sort of a flat surface, it could be a piece of glass, again, it could be a jelly plate, it could be anything. That you can just get a thin coat of paint onto your um, stamp so that you can stamp with it with paint instead of ink. So maybe you only have waterproof black ink and you don't have lots of colors that are waterproof and you wanna put it in your journal. That's when you would wanna use paint instead of ink. 
And then look at that, look at how nice that image came out. These are the ones I did in ink. Look at that, okay? And then you can take the same uh, pad. I need to find my black. Yeah. My same, I'm gonna use the same jelly plate. I'm not gonna clean it off. And I'm going to use the doodly half of these moons. This is Dina Wakeley's Media Paint again. This is Night, which I believe is like a really dark blue. It's actually not black, but that's what I could grab easily. And again, so if you're using paint too with these layered stamp, the nice things about that is you could do that first solid one in black. And then you could do the doodly one in white. It'd be very opaque, so it would show up really well. They don't have to be lined up perfectly, but I do sort of want them going in the same direction. So let's see if I got it right. Yes, I did. So that there you have that. So you can create a lot of fun little embellishments or uh, focal points for your journal pages, greeting cards, tags, um, using either ink or paint with your rubber stamps, any of them, not just mine. Um, this is something I do a lot. I also do it on deli paper and tissue paper. And then you can collage it down with as much wet medium as you want. And this acrylic paint, it is not going anywhere. So there you go. There you have it. There is a discount code again down in the description below for every Thing in my Etsy shop, not just the rubber stamps. So go check it out. Um, there are other ways to support me. Um, there's a bunch of links also too that you can follow me on social media in my link tree, which is in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys. <music>